What will Jen Mahuzi be in President Museveni's next cabinet? Welcome to the Angels News Podcast, please subscribe. For some years now, the name Mahuzi Kainarugaba has been synonymous with succession discussions in the country's post-Museveni era. First coined by former Intelligence Chief General David Sejusa in 2013 and outrightly rubbished by the first son himself and his father General Yoari Museveni, the matter has since graduated from a mere gossip to a real probable course of action. Heading into Museveni's sixth and perhaps last term, Mahuzi who many see as the next head of state-in-waiting has variously been tipped to play a very important role in the country's administration. In 2017, Museveni relieved Mahuzi of his duties as the Special Forces Commander and appointed him Special Operations Advisor. This was widely seen as a move by the President to acquaint his possible heir apparent with State House business. As it started seeming like the January 14th general elections would be chaotic and bloody, Mahuzi was redeployed to man the Army's most elite unit once again while also retaining his appointment at State House. As it increasingly begins to look like Museveni could be serving his very last term in office, a more important appointment for Jen Mahuzi in the next cabinet should not surprise anyone. Minister of Defense, Internal Affairs or Vice President? Some pundits have tipped the youthful general to replace either Adolf Mwesej at Defense, Hey Hey Adongo at Internal Affairs or troubled Vice President Kiwanuka Sakandi. When critically analyzed, the three men above are in their 70s and replacing any one of them would come handy for Museveni for whom injecting more youthful power into his government will be highly thought of. At Defense and Foreign Affairs, Mahuzi's enviable military service would be a great boost for him. By conduct however, Museveni has demonstrated that his plans for his son are outside the military. That's why replacing Sakandi as VP would be a more viable option. Whether Museveni would want to have Mahuzi into such an important position this instantly remains debatable. A less powerful position for now would break a possible public resistance until later on, say after two years. Thank you for watching in the Angels News Podcast.